Grade 7 math number 7.1b, addition and subtraction property of inequalities. Inequalities are math sentences that don't have an equal sign. Instead, they use less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or not equal to signs. The variables in an inequality can represent any number that makes the sentence true. The addition property of inequality says we can add the same number to both sides and the inequality will still be true. And the subtraction property of inequality says we can subtract the same number from both sides and the inequality will still be true. We can use these properties to help us solve inequalities with addition or subtraction of rational numbers. So let's take a look at this one. We've got x plus 5 is less than 12. Got our number line up here. So some number plus 5 is less than 12. Could x be 7? 7 plus 5 is 12, so that makes it not true. This is not true. It, x cannot be 7. What if it were 6? Could x be 6? 6 plus 5 is 11. That's less than 12. That's true. 5 plus 5 is less than 12. That's true. 4 plus 5 is less than 12. That's true. And 3 plus 5 is less than 12. That's true. But could 6.99 be true? We know 7 is not true. What about 6.99? Well, 6.99 plus 5 is 11.99. Yes, it is true. 7 is not true, but 6.99 is. So what we do is we put a circle for the 7, and then we draw an arrow showing that everything else is true. So on the number line, in order to show that 6.99 is greater than 6, and that it's included, we have a circle around the 7 showing 7 is not true, but 6.99 is, and every number that follows it is true. Every number that is smaller than that is true, going even into the negatives. See? So, when there's an open circle with nothing in it, that means it's not included. But every number up to it is included, even 6.99999. That would still be less than 12. If it's a filled in dot, that means it is included. And I'll show you that in a second when we talk about that one. But for this one, we know that 11.99 is less than 12, so we've got our open circle and our arrow showing that all the numbers smaller than that would be included because that would be less than 12. Here's our equation again, our inequality. I'm sorry, inequality. x plus 5 is less than 12. If we were to take the 5 away from each side of this less than sign, plus 5 take away 5 creates a 0 pair, doesn't it? If we have 5 and take 5 away, we have none. We have 0. We take 5 away from the 12, we have 7. Now we have x is less than 7. Well, we know that from up here that 7 made it not true. If x were 7, that would still be not true, wouldn't it? x is not less than 7 if it were 7. See? What if x were 6? Yes, it's true. And 5, it's true. 4, it's true. 3, it's true. So even though we subtracted 5 from each side of our inequality, we have the same answers that we do up here. See? And 6.99 could be true. 6.99 is less than 7. So we've got our circle that's open for the 7, and our arrow points to everything down below that because they're true. And the subtraction property shows us that the same values for x are true when we subtract the same number from each side of the inequality sign. Okay? All right, so now I'm going to show you the closed dot, the one that means included. Now our, our uh, inequality says x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 5. So what could x be that would make this true? Could x be 7? 7 minus 3 is 4. Well, that's not greater than or equal to a 5, so that, again, that's not true. So we can't count 7, can we? How about 8? How about 8 minus 3? Is that greater than or equal to the 5? It's equal to the 5, so 8 is true. It's included, see? It's included in the answer. Would 9 be true? 9 minus 3 is 6. That's greater than 5, so yes, that's true. How about 10? 10 minus 3 is greater than 5. That's true. So it could be equal to or greater than. How about 7.99? If we 
had 7.99 and took away 3? Well, that's 4.99. That's not greater than or equal to 5, so no, it's not included. So we use our filled in dot to show only 8 or bigger is included. And on our number line, we put our filled in dot 8 to show 8 is true and included, and every number larger than that, every number higher, is included. See? Every number getting bigger than 8 is included. 8, 9, 10. Now what happens if we were to add 3 to each side of the inequality sign? If we have a negative 3 and add a positive 3, that's going to create a zero pair, isn't it? We're going to be back to zero. So that's gone. We've eliminated it. And 5 plus 3 is 8. So now it says x is greater than or equal to 8. So could 7 make it true? Nope. Just like up here, it's still not true. Could 8 make it true? Is 8 greater than or equal to 8? Yes, it's equal to it. So that's true. So we put our black dot, and 9 is true and 10 is true because they're all greater than 8. And so we have a black dot with our arrow showing that all the numbers bigger are included, and it's filled in showing 8 is included. So the addition property shows us that the same values for x are true when we add the same number to each side of an inequality sign. Whatever we had here is the same as up here. See? And we use the filled in dot to show that it includes the 8 and all the numbers higher. But we can't use 7.99, can we? Because it's still smaller than 5. So remember, a number may not be included to make an inequality true, but every number up to that number may make it true. Then we use the open circle with an arrow pointing to the right or the open circle with an arrow pointing to the left on the number line to show which ones make it true. So we're going to do addition and subtraction of inequalities in our next video, 7.1c. I hope this was helpful. I know inequalities can be very confusing, and I hope that this shed some light on what they mean, and if they were helpful in any way, please hit the like button. It's the only way I know that I'm helping. Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.